the 2021 Riker Rally is facing tough competition from its sibling. While you could own both, not everyone can. Hence the need to carefully consider where the money will go. But at least you've been able to settle on two from which to choose. The 2022 Can-Am Riker Rally versus its older model. The 2021 Riker Rally. Which one should you buy? We might be able to help. The 2021 Riker Rally. When the 2021 Can Riker Rally came out, there is no denying that it spurred a lot of excitement. With the introduction in existence and already pretty cool models, such as the Spider F3 range, Riker Sport, and the F3 Special Series, the Riker stood out for the fun and unique experience it brought to riders. Its powerful Rodax 900cc engine ensured it had the performance to see you through those travel miles with less effort. It also came with the popular yet powerful KYB, which supplied the front and rear compression and preload adjustable suspensions for those rough and irregular roads. Some other features the 2021 Can Riker Rally could boast off include its continuous variable transmission CVT, an incredible design to match its functionality, easily customizable parts, robust wheelbase specifications, HPG units, and so on. It is an undeniable fact the 2021 Riker Rally was one of the major productions of Can-Am that placed this Canadian subsidiary of an industrial giant BRP on the map and on the way to breaking the bank. Can-Am capitalized on riders' desire to own the lonely roads in a unique way during the pandemics. Many of Can-Am's vehicles did the trick, but it would seem that the 2021 Riker Rally was placed up there among the top ranking choices. And this reflected in a massive growth in the company's on-vehicle segment as of December 31, 2021. But of course, they wouldn't just end there. Enter 2022 Riker Rally 900 CE. Can-Am had gone back to the drawing board and picked up on its users' various comments and reviews to upgrade the Riker Rally for a stronger comeback. While they were at it, they maintained many of its previous features and specs, which made people fall in love with it. And that's where the twist is. Many Riker Rally lovers almost had a headache choosing between the 2021 and 2022 models because they are so much alike. The truth is, they share several similar features, although Canon was careful to put the cherry on the cake with some critical tweaks and modifications. And of course, that affected the price as well. We will talk about that in just a moment. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, this is a great point to do so. Join our growing community and get exclusive access to our unique content. Now hit the subscribe button so you never miss our exciting uploads. The similarities between these two models are apparent when you consider that they share basically the same body frame, which streamlines it for its unique riding experience. Both Riker rallies also use the same Rodax 900cc engine for ultimate performance, the wheelbase specs, fuel type, horsepower. The usual three-ride modes and CVT transmission mentioned earlier are all essentially the same. So, where does the difference lie? The 2022 Riker Rally is clearly a beefed-up version of its predecessor. Although the upgrades are pretty slight, they are pretty essential and profound. Canon did not leave any stone unturned. One of the significant upgrades in the 2022 Riker Rally is in the suspension department. The KYB shocks now have remote adjustability. They still carry out their function of supporting the compression and preload suspensions on both the front and rear parts, except in this new model, the HPG units are longer travel. This interprets in its 7.3-inch front extension and 7.1 rear extensions. These improvements differ from the 2021 Riker Rally by a few inches. There has also been a tweak in the handlebar such that it is much more mobile now. This helps to take care of those twisty turns. It also has a arm protectors now to guard your hands against harm during those drifty and competitive moments with friends and competitors. The front of the 2022 Riker Rally also comes with a solid and beefy bumper for that extra protection and robust look. One of the critical improvements in the 2022 Riker Rally is the new intake it comes with which features a pre-filter to keep debris from invading the vehicle. Riders would especially be thankful for this upgrade because of the maintenance fees it will save them and the more extended durability it will give these babies. Furthermore, 
Cannon paid attention to the riding triangle of the Riker Rally. It has given more padding to the seat and tweaked the footbags by increasing their size and lowering them some more. A 28-inch rise in the seat complements the lowering of the footbags. Can-Am fixed longer travel suspenders to solidify this particular modification. These tweaks in the rider's positioning area ensure maximum comfort for those long rides. Finally, the design of the Riker Rally was also beefed up to feature a new hood and fresh all-road wheels in white color. Cool LED headlights have also been incorporated to enhance illumination. And as indicated earlier, Can-Am listened to their users and improved the vehicle's roar sound with an Acropovic muffler exhaust. And about the passenger and cargo area, the max mount structure has also been enhanced to afford an increase in such accessories. So we did mention that all of these modifications would affect the price, and they did. While the 2021 Riker rally starts at the $11,499 mark, the 2022 model takes it up a notch to $13,499. It's a pretty good deal when you consider all the new model's tweaks. Various other model upgrades experience price spikes that do not match the leniency of the price range between these two models. So there you have it. Whatever your choice may be, it will be worth it. Everybody has got their own preference after all. But if you have tried any of these models yet, 